chubby. Maybe there's even room for a little one. And so he went to slightly scent and he squeezed and squeezed himself down and down the vents. And he fitted in and he came at last to our secret home underneath the streets. And he crept in and there he saw the sleeping Peter. But gent as he was, he realised as an English gentleman, I cannot kill him in his sleep. But, but, but as a scoundrel, <laughs> and the captain was a man to have drugs always on him, and he poured it in the pot of medicine. That was by Peter. That Wendy had been made sure to leave him. <laughs> well, I hope it's not bad for public schoolboy as I am. <laughs> Behind blue eyes. And so it was hours later. Peter woke up all alone. I'm not going to regret Wendy. I didn't drink my medicine earlier because, well, it's a spider to be honest, but now she's gone. Huh? In tribute to her, I will drink it. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey! What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey! What? Tinkerbell! Hey, 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 hey! She's taken the medicine out of my hand, knocked it out and drunk it herself! So walk the plank instead, one by one, and you shall go into the water and drown and be devoured by the dragon. <laughs> but just as the captain mentioned the dragon, it was like he blanched, as if fear was in his heart. But I, as Wendy, was caught to the mast and couldn't say nothing. Tick tock, tick. But just at that moment, the boat was filled with a ticking and a talking and a ticking and a ticking. No. And the captain, he fled. The curse is upon us! Run! Hey! And all the pirates fled and did not see that Peter was ticking and talking. And Peter 
whipped oh. down and flew into the cabin. And he, leaving the door open. And so it was, when the captain came back, he saw the door was open. He heard the tick talk coming from it. And he went to look at the door with fear. You? Yes, sir. Get in there and look what's going on. And one by one, one by one, he put his crew into the cabin. And Whoa. one by one, he surrounded them through as if there was a dragon inside. And at last, it was Smee who said it. Oh, Captain, Captain, why don't we put the boys in there to see about the monster? Wait a minute, Smee. I have an idea, Smee. Why don't we put the boys in there to confront the monster? What a brilliant idea of mine. And so it was, they put the boys in, and my Peter armed them to their teeth, and they came out and they carried the boat. And soon there was just James Hook, mighty swordsman, James, oh fighting with the little Peter, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, all across the boat. But strong man as he was, the captain felt his strength was going. And as he felt that, he asked Peter, But what are you? I am joy. I am youth. I am freedom. And when the captain heard that, it was like a curse fell upon him. He was near the plank. He stalked along the flank. He came to the edge of the plank and threw away his sword. And Peter, Peter, booted him into the water. Burn for the mouth of the waiting dragon. And the dragon devoured him there and then. And if I swallow anything evil, put your finger down my Bad man. Peter. Yes. Peter. Oh, Wendy. Are Wendy. you going to sail us home now? If you still really want to go home. I want to go home. And so it was. Peter, dressed as a pirate, and with a crew of fairies, sail us through the seven seas into the port of London Town. And I told my children, now is the moment. Now's the moment. Come on, Michael. Come on, John. Come on, Slightly and the rest. Now's the moment to go home. And we all went back. And there was the window and our mother waiting for us. And there was my father. And my father came in every inch the man he was before. Ha! Ah, children, I have a very, very special treat for you. You've been so good. Guess what I'm going to give to you tonight. What are you going to give to us tonight? Double algebra! Oh, no! And the children were soon desperate to go back to Neverland. But it was too late. That last morning, I had stood with Peter on the deck. And I said to him, Peter, 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 will you really, really not come? Well, will you really not grow up, Peter? No, I'll never grow up. I just wondered I might come back next spring if you want to do some spring cleaning. Won't you stay, though? You want me to go back to Neverland? But we don't have to grow up, we can stay forever young. All you have to do is stay. No, Peter. No. No. I, I will go back. I have boys waiting for you, me. But what was that you said about spring cleaning? Well, it was just an idea, but maybe next spring I could come back. The house will be a mess by then. You can come and do my cleaning. All right. Welcome. And so it was, the very next day, the next year, Peter, he came back 
and he gathered me up and he took me off to Neverland and there were more children to look after and wild adventures to be had. And he flew me back after a week's spring cleaning and he did it the next week, next year. And then he disappeared and 20 years passed and I grew old. I had Margaret, your mother, when in spring I heard the town tail tap, 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 there upon the window. Waiting for the time to pass you by, hoping for the winds to change your mind. I could give a thousand reasons why. But I wouldn't let Peter in. No, Peter, you can't. Come in! But Peter was not to be gainsaid. He crept in and saw me. Wendy? Yes, But you, you've got big! It's been 20 years, Peter. I had all but forgotten you. It seems like yesterday. Oh, Wendy, you, you've grown up. I can't fly. Oh. I can't come and do your cleaning now. But would you have another? There's a child I would give you who I would trust no other. Who's that? My mother. Well, I'll take her if she'll come with me. And so Peter flew my Margaret off, off to wild Neverland. And she came back full of stories of spy masters and of Peter's great struggle with the evil spy master. <laughs> and for three years she went and for three years, she came back, and then Peter went. Twenty more years have passed, and now I hear the scratch there upon the window. And what will happen, I don't know. What fairies you will meet, not Tinkerbell. For that first time I went back, I asked Peter what happened to her, and she said, he said, Who? Tinkerbell. Oh, oh, my fairy, you mean? Oh, she said. So you will not meet her, for fairies only last a year, like a dream or a hope. But what a wild time you'll have. But I have something, my child, my grandchild, to ask you. Please, please look after the lost boys. For what happens to the homeless children? Who looks after them? But Peter. And you. And we had Tribe of Smog as Tiger Lily and the Dragon. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Please give a little change to make a great change and help still look after the lost young folk of Exeter and beyond. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Thank you. I give you, last of all, the music by the inestimable, wonderful Kimway. Take it away. Please feel free to sing along. And please give generously to the buckets that are going around for Night Stop. This song about the homeless by the recording artist Pink. We are so we can see in the dark Though we are rockets Pointed up at the stars We are billions Of beautiful hearts And you sold us Down the river too far Said you had the answers. But what about us? What about all the broken happy ever afters? What about us? What about all the plans that ended in disasters? What about love? What about trust? What about Soft. We are children that need 
to be loved We were willing We came when you called But you fooled us Enough is enough What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answer? But then I'll be ready Are you ready? It's the start of us waking up Come on, are you ready? I'll be ready I don't want control I want to let go And now it's time to let them know What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answer? Thank you. Please do come and have a chat with the guys at Night Stop, find out more about what they do. Thank you for listening. Uh, we've been with Sith and Deer, or they have, and I've been Kim Way and Midge has been Captain Hook. <laughs>